In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the devotion to the Holy Child is the oldest and one of the most popular in the Philippines and in the and the Holy See has granted us special permission to celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino every third Sunday of January. The Feast brings to our attention the mystery of childhood. This means having an open and trusting disposition to accept the Lord's gift with gratitude, while seeing ourselves as humble servants who serve the Lord in the list of our brothers and sisters. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we once again acknowledge our sins, our shortcomings, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph, grant that we may learn from his example to embrace you in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hearts with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Isaiah prophesies that through the child, who shall be called Prince of Peace, God will grant peace and rejoicing to his people. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest. As people make merry, when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as on the day of Median. 
For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful, from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nation, he has revealed justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord is king. Let the many isles be glad. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord is King. Let the many isles be glad. God loves us and has made us his adopted children in Christ. Paul reminds us to live up to our dignity by leading a holy and blameless life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him in love he destined us for adoption to himself through jesus christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. Therefore I too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation 
resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of His glory in His inheritance among the Holy Ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them, and his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa inyong lahat. Isip nga po kayo, ng isang ribulto o ng isang santo o ng ribulto niya na madalas nating palit-palitan ng damit uh, di ba wala no? kahit na mag-ikot ka dito sa loob ng simbahan uh, yung kanilang basement yung kanilang damit ay pare-pareho even uh, si Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag papalitan lang po yan tuwing pista but there is something that we're missing again today in the celebration of the Santo Nino, lalong lalo na sa ating kultura. Nakakamiss ring makita yung Santo Nino na nakasuot, magsasaka, mangingisda, pulis, ano pa, nung kasagsagan ng kalakasan ng Hinebra, naka-jersey pa ni Jaworski, yung Santo Nino. Wala kang ibang makita na ribulto na ganoon yung relationship natin. Kung baga kung ano tayo gusto nating makikita at ipabot no? sa ating uh, Senyor Santo Nino kung ano yung kalagayan natin. At it's something that again eh, nami-miss natin sa mga pagkakataong ito. Pero, 
Bakit nga ba ganon? Many people would not understand how we can do this to something to someone that we revere. No? Para bang sinasabi na hindi pa ba sapat na naging nagkatawang tao siya, naging katulad natin, isinilang sa sabsaban na kailangan mo pang damitan, kailangan mo pang i ilagay sa kanya kung ano yung kalagayan mo sa mundo kung sino ka sa mundo kay doktor kay nurse I'm, I'm sure you have seen many Santo Ninos dressed in so many uh, clothes ng mga different profession no? pero bakit ganon? at bakit parang hinahayaan na ganoon yung kalakaran ang nagagawa natin eh, dito hindi mo po pwedeng gawin yan I, uh, Lady of the Rosary of Manawag o sa mga santo na nakikita mo merong mga ano yan merong mga specific na pananamit pero bakit pagdating doon sa Santo Nino na, na nagagawa natin na okay eto ako, pulis ako sa kapistahan mo dadamitan kita ng damit ng isang pulis Ano yung ibig sabihin noon? Ano yung pinaparating? Sabi nga ng iba, hindi pa ba sapat na maging tao siya na kailangan mo pang ilagay sa kanya kung ano ka dito sa mundo. But that's precisely the point. That's precisely the beauty of what we are celebrating today. We are actually in a way telling God this is who we are dito sa mundong ibabaw This is who we are, etong profession namin, eto yung kalagayan namin. We are asking you to take it upon yourself to bless it, to make it decent, to make it better, to make it pleasing to you. Iba ang ganda, no? Sapagkat doon sa ganoong practices, no? na marami ang hindi na, nakakaunawa at napapailing na lang, we are actually telling God, this is who am I here. I am asking you to bless me. I am asking you to take it upon yourself to bless not only me, but the profession that I have. Kaya nakakatuwa, no? Pag nakikita mo na, okay, Kaya nga lang minsan eh, napapailing din ako kasi uh, yung, ibang, yung ibang suot ng, ng, ng ninyo ay outlandish. Yung iba naman kapag tinanong mo, bakit kulay green? Eh pampaswerte daw po yun. No? So nagahalo na yung, uh, uh, yung authentic na pananampalataya at saka yung tinge ng superstition. But what is at the bottom of it? is the desire of each and every one of us that our God takes possession or enter into our own lives. Ganda, no? Sapagat uh, He came to us as a human being, but we are actually asking more for Him to look into the specifics ng buhay natin. Kung ako ay ganitong profession, I'm going to ask Him, come, enter my life as a priest. Kung kayo teacher, I am very sure may santo ninyo na dinamitan ng uniform ng teacher. Police, yes. Madalas makakita tayo ng ganoon. It is an invitation, not only an invitation for our Lord to enter into the specifics ng buhay natin, but it is also a kind of our offering to God to take possession of what we do. Ganda, nagmimit yung gusto ng Diyos at saka yung gusto natin. Nagtutugma. No? God wants to enter into our own history by taking our own humanity. Kaya nga sabi natin, He is one like us except in one thing, except in sin. Tayo naman, parang sinasabi natin sa kapisahan ng Santo Nino, lalong-lalo na dito sa mga practices na ito, you want to become like us? Here is more. This is who am I in my community. This is what I do. And many times, I'm having difficulty living this kind of life. Bless it. Take it upon yourself. So the child 
that we are celebrating today is a child that entered into our human history. My dear friends, these are the many practices that uh, today, we have, today we are missing. We miss also the Nazareno. We miss celebrating the Nazareno. We miss celebrating the Santo Nino. And I'm very sure you miss the two. No? Not, not just the ribulto na daladalan po ninyo, but the meaning na daladala na nakakabit doon sa celebration na yon. God's assurance for us no, in our celebration today is that all those things are not lost in this pandemic. It is still something that is noble. It is still something that we can continue celebrating in our own little ways. Yung externalities might not be possible as of now, but in a way, it asks us to dig deep into our own faith, to dig deep into our own relationship with the Santo Nino. I may not be able to bring you to church for the blessing today. I may not be able to put on your usual clothes or uniform when I bring you on the celebration, but I can bring you in my heart in my day-to-day -day struggle and challenges. We still celebrate. Lagi nga po namin pinapaalala yan, no matter what. Today, the Feast of the Santo Nino muted, perhaps because we do not have the festivities. Sinulog is not celebrated, at least in the way that it was being celebrated. And the other celebration, at alam naman natin na sa kasaysayan ng uh, Katolikong Pilipinas, napakahalaga ng pagdiriwang ng Santo Nino. May, as we celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino on these most challenging days that we are in, may the resiliency, the openness, and the willingness of the child to believe that things will be better be the same spirit that is within us today as we continue to face the day-to-day -day challenges of this pandemic. Paano ko nakakasiguro nun? Pag-uwi po. Kapag ka meron kayong nakita na bata sa bahay ninyo, kung may bata kayo sa bahay ninyo, yung, hindi bata, yung sanggol, subukan ninyo. Pahawak niyo po yung daliri ninyo. And I'm very sure many of us have already done this in the past. You're going to once again wonder, how is it na yung napakaliit na bata, yung infant, kapag hinawakan yung daliri niyo, ay napakatay. Today, as we celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino, may our grip on the hand of God be as tight as when we were still an infant. Because when we do that, we will be fine. And you all stand. All together, I believe in one God, the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On the Feast of the Santo Nino, let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. Let us remember in a special way the children of this nation and around the world, and we pray, hear the prayers of your children, Lord. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For the Church, may she never lose the spirit of a child, and so live with the spirit of friendship, freedom, and openness, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For those who hold public office, may they care for all children, show them the beauty of life, and guide them to the respect of laws, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For all children of God, may they grow in faith, charity, and fear of the Lord, so that their whole life may be an endless praise to the Father, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For all of us, may our celebration of the Feast of the Santo Nino be marked not only by cultural and religious festivities, but also by a deepening of faith in Christ, who is always attuned to the will of the Father, we pray. Hear yeah. children, O oh Lord. For all the faithful departed, may Lord grant them perpetual light and peace, we pray. We pause for a while and in silence, we include also the intentions of uh, the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag for their well-being, for their good health, we pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear the, the prayers of your children, Lord. We continue to pray for all the frontliners, especially the medical workers, for their safety. We continue to pray for the enlightenment and guidance of our leaders both in the church and in the government, we pray to the Lord. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you may now offer your personal intentions. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. May your word and the Eucharist be our support and our guide Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to the little children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought the forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of the awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has approved, he appeared, visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Come to you, O Lord. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Once again, we are being reminded that we are all children of God and we have one Father in heaven. us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now we offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In the body of God. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the coming, forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion violence and terrorism deliver us lord from dishonesty lies and all distortion of truth deliver us lord from bribery graft and all conspiracy for fraud deliver us lord from threats intimidation and perverse language deliver us lord let us pray together hear us lord hear us lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always be have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls, the Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagements for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing po, una sa lahat, maraming salamat sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa, sa pagdalaw po ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We are also making this appeal po that Tapos, no, uh, sana yung mga may kakilala pa po kayo na hindi pa nababakunan, kindly help no, in spreading the good news to these people so that we will be able to finish this pandemic no, soon po. At uh, isa pa po, uh, we will continue to assure you ng aming mga panalangin magmula po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag para sa inyong lahat, sa lahat ng devotees ni Apo Baket. At hiling din po kami ng uh, patuloy na panalangin niyo po para sa amin. Uh, natapapagod rin mga ang membro ng aking komunidad dito. Uh, nagkakasakit din, flu. Uh, Dere-derecho ang trabaho po namin dito. So we ask for your prayers po. And also more importantly, we pray for one another. So my dear friends, we receive the grace in this Mass. We are also asked to spread the good news of faith and hope and love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer po for the blessing na mga may sakit. Dito, yung nakikiisa po sa amin sa live stream, mga nasa bahay, nasa ospital. We will pray for them and this will be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong mga religious articles. I am going to say the prayer of blessing dito but uh, we're going to ask the help ng Eucharistic ministers to sprinkle po yung holy water. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.